Hello, welcome. So I want to quickly give you an update of our project. So, so far we have three working modules. So in the previous videos, I showed you how we worked on the categories. So went ahead and worked on brands and warehouse uh, for now. And we added all the expected functionalities like export, import, and so many other things like uh, add warehouse. All these ones, we added these functionalities and including of course the search the data table and everything and we did this also for the brands as well and everything now the most interesting part is actually how we smartly reused the functionalities across these modules okay so first of all we have a reusable table okay so this data table is reusable we are not doing this for every component uh, we have one component that we are smartly reusing uh, to have this data table, okay? So if I'm show you just quickly, uh, if you just go to, if you just go, for instance, to brands, so you see that we're having this data table component that we simply give it columns and the data, okay? Of course, we get data from the database here, and then we pass it in here, okay? Now, on the data table, what is also uh, nice that we are also reusing the search across all the data because what we did we attached this search bar onto the table so you may be thinking that uh this search is um uh is being copied from one uh one component to another but actually this is one component coupled onto this uh, data table and what we did is that we coupled it onto this so that if we go to the warehouse we still have this same uh, uh, search working, okay? If I just go here, you said this is working. So how are we able to actually use this? If you go onto the data table, you will see that it is actually coupled with, um, with the search bar, okay? And this search bar, as you can see it here, it actually takes in the data, and this is the initial data, and takes in the on search function. This on search function is to fetch for us the search results. If I just go to the on search function, you will see that this is simply having a search term that you are just going to type in, and then it's going to take in this search time and uh, uh, search it against the past in data. Anything you pass in is going to filter out and it will give us back the filter data that we are just going to take in as the search results and then we pass it back into the table to be able to display it uh, onto the table here okay so that is a uh, uh, really smart and really nice okay so how about this a uh, this header here as you can see that this table was divided into two parts the header part and this table okay so i've shown you this table now if you look at the header it is also being all these functionalities here are being reused okay if i just go back and i search into the i show you the header i'm just going to in the uh for instance in the uh in the warehouse you will see that we have the same concept we have the table taking in the columns and the data okay now you look at the table header Table header is having all these parameters, including, for instance, the warehouse title, the title, link, and so on. But you look at this, the most important things is this. We are passing in the data and the model, okay? Now, if you go into the table header, this is all where the magic is happening from, okay? So if I just go here and then I check, you will see that, first of all, we are automatically generating the download file from here we check the model and then we know which download file we are supposed to render and then uh, for the export data that is the most simple one okay for the export data handle export you can see simply we generate the name and we have this data we are passing in. So if you pass in categories, it will be categories. If you pass in um, a warehouse, it will be warehouses. 
and this uh, handle export is really easy now for the save data and the save data if i'm show you it is this button here a the function to run is on this button now for that we are also using all this uh code okay we are using all this code the only thing we are doing is we actually check the model and then we generate for that model if for instance it is the model is category we go ahead and generate all the categories and then we send them uh to this create bar categories okay as well as the the warehouse or the brands we do the same exact thing okay so really really if you look at the code has been smartly optimized in all these different areas to show that we have less code with more functionality and if you want to see how um how we are implementing all this how you want to be to participate in doing this project it is really easy simply grab your seat in this i'm just going to leave the link to the course you can simply grab your seat and then we do this project together